looking to inject some color into your wardrobe, you need some vibrant color in your life, girl, this is the video for you, okay? Grab you a drink, a seat, sit down, and let's get started, girl. You're going to love this. <laughs> bargain shopping as well as doing hauls so if you think you might be interested in that kind of content make sure you subscribe like comment share hit your notification bells and turn them on I try to upload at least once a week if not maybe twice a week um, whenever I see fit to get into my schedule so yeah if you think you like that kind of content definitely subscribe for good vibes so without further ado let's get into it is going to be about definitely by the beautiful colors and the selections here on my rack it is going to be a color blocking video girl okay and i hope this video helps you guys find some sort of balance or foundation into um, injecting color into your wardrobe so i am going to try to give you guys some of the basic tips that i've learned throughout the years from some of my fashion influencers i'm hopeful that it will help you guys wearing the first outfit it is a color blocking monochromatic outfit so what that means basically is it is one color just different shades so on top I have your typical purple it's kind of like a muted purple actually and then on the bottom I have a lilac so I got the pants from Fashion Nova they're the flare leg um, jeans flare leg high-waisted jeans bell bottom jeans and then I have the purple top I got from Free People. I actually purchased this. It's called a shirt dress. It's made of cotton material and it's stretchy. The shirt dress actually came with the slits further down. They started about here and then just opened up there. I went to my tailor and had them take the slits up higher because I wanted more of a shirt than a dress out of it. So I felt like that would also be fun and flirty and I can do a lot more with it. So with that being said, I created just a shirt and I absolutely love it. So this next look is one of my favorites guys. It is a chocolate knitted top and some hot pink pants. Both I got from Zara. Now they are both a part of a cohort set from Zara. The top comes with um, a pair of brown pants, same material, same cut. It has the slitted sleeves here and the slits are also in the pants. But I only purchased the top, guys. The asymmetrical cut gives it a sexy twist, sexy appeal, honey. I love a high neck. Absolutely love that. It hides what it needs to hide. <laughs> and the hot pink pants also come as a cohort set. It comes with the spaghetti strap top, which I did purchase the cohort set together. But I'm wearing the pieces separately, as you can see. Um, they are ankle, lift, ankle length pants. So they stop at your ankles here, but they have a very beautiful flare to them. They're wide leg. They're um, elastic at the waist. So there is room for growth, but I love this look too. So this next look, ladies, I think is so fun and so flirty. I'm gonna keep it in the pink family for just a little bit. So this is actually a color blocking dress. So the dress already comes as a color blocking unit. You don't have to find separate pieces to um, color block. So the top is a hot pink and the bottom is a ruby red. It comes in this pleated material. It's kind of like a satin material. Very pretty guys. Very pretty, very flowy. I haven't worn this dress yet. And guys, I um, had a son. I was sunbathing on a vacation that I went on last month. So I am trying to um, get my skin together. So please excuse this area of my body. But the dress is given, okay? Absolutely gorgeous and minimal effort, okay? You don't have to put a lot of effort into this at all. It, it is what it is, the dress stands alone. So this next look is so fun, guys. I felt like this is like the outfit you will wear to a fun event, like a paint and silk or like an art show or a fashion show or something with your girls. Um, 
I love it because it is color blocking within color blocking. So when I say that, I mean there are two different colors within the pants. So one side is this burnt orange and the other side is this hot pink. They're neon colors, so they are very vibrant. So I would tone it down some with the top, which I did with this gray t-shirt top. Now I got the pants from Fashion Nova and the top I got from Nasty Gal, I wanna say. If not, it was Shein, one of the two. But I love this look together. I would probably take this to the next level and just to have fun with it because it's colorful and it's meant to, to be fun. I would probably put a hat on with it. So when I say that, I mean, I would probably add a cute little hat, like a pink hat here. So as you can see, I feel like this takes this outfit to a fun next level look want to be a little more risque <laughs> I would probably wear not a pink hat but a red hat so let me show you before you judge guys okay give her a chance give her a chance so I have this red ruby red rancher hat that I got from lack of colors it has a satin or satin satin and sheen mix band around it I would pair this with her. And I feel like this is also next level fun. So you have four different colors. You have your red, you have your light gray to tone it down. Then you have your bright orange and your bright pink. But I just feel like this is fun. And I absolutely love this hat. I haven't worn it yet. Um, I have another outfit in mind for this hat, but I thought this would be super cute and super fun to just pair together. Like I said, an art show, a paint and sip with your girls, with your man, a jazz spot, you know, whatever your thing is, whatever your jam is. But this is so cute. So this next piece I put together, I love, 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 love the color. I have this beautiful orange and milk chocolate brown satin skirt. Now the orange top I purchased, it's a bodysuit I purchased from Zara. It's a racer back bodysuit. So it really covers you, covers those problem areas. And then I have this chocolate satin skirt I purchased from Express. I purchased this back in, last summer during the pandemic when all of their stuff was like 50% off the entire site. So I got a couple of skirts in different colors. I love the length of this, that's first and foremost, but I love the flare at the bottom and how it hugs and accentuates your curves here. I thought that was very pretty, but I love the colors together. This is a brown girl's dream combination. Brown is the new nude, it's the new black for black women, okay? For our color and our skin tone, absolutely beautiful together. It's beautiful on all colors, but it really does something to the melanin, the melanated beautiful queens. It does something to us, so. So ladies, this is one of my all time favorites, only because I love fall. So this look gives me fall vibes, but you are transitioning your darker colors into your lighter colors. So it transitions fall into spring. Now you can also do this for those sexy summer nights, honey. Orange is just gonna be the color of the season, in my opinion. Orange, green, teals, yellows, like I feel like those are gonna be your seasonal colors this year. But I love this. You have the color blocking within the shirt. Now the shirt I got from Free People, it is a knitted shirt or cotton shirt um, with the rib detailing. It's a orange on one side and a light peachy cream on the other side. Um, almost like a light coral. And then you have your burnt orange and your skirt. The skirt I picked up from a random boutique. It was about $20. I thought it would be a great investment piece into my wardrobe and could go with various outfits. So I definitely had to snatch it up. The flow of it is beautiful. It is like that beautiful satin fabric. Um, so it does wrinkle. A steamer would be ideal. <laughs> um, make sure you have one of those on hand. But this is so pretty together. It flows really nice together in my opinion. 
Now to elevate this look, I would add a belt, okay? So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. This belt I purchased from Free People. I got this some months ago, maybe about five or six months ago. It is a color blocking belt. So I have the orange in the belt here and then the color cream. Then you have your metal chain detailing here and then you have your chocolate brown. So it has three colors within the belt itself. It is a wraparound belt. So that means it wraps around the waist twice and I'll show you guys what it looks like on. Part to hang a little bit longer. I purchased this in a small. I feel like I should have gotten it in a medium because it would have given me the length that I want, maybe about here. But I love the look of this. It's giving me bohemian chic vibes. So I would probably pair um, some bohemian style earrings. You can do like the feather earrings or like the shell type earrings, um, the brass color earrings. And then I would probably do a sandal with a wooden heel. I think that would just top this look off and just give it the extra oomph that it needs. You guys like? I love this look. Hi guys, so this next piece, I absolutely love this together, okay? I paired these colors together and I fell in love. Neon colors are beautiful on brown skin. They really give our skin life, or our skin gives it life. Whatever is happening, I'm loving this magical effect. It's beautiful. Just the flowiness in it. it. It's just, it's just giving. I love this. The pants I purchased from Zara, they actually have these in stock. I recently purchased these, which I will have a Zara haul coming up soon. Um, and the top I purchased from ASOS, I want to say about a year ago. The top is very pretty. I was afraid at first because of the color but I absolutely fell in love with it the second I put it on. It matches my skin tone, and I have peachy undertones anyway, so it brings out my undertones. I actually feel like the neon color tone, well, the sage color tones the neon color down a bit, um, so I wouldn't do bright on bright. So always, in my opinion, the rule of thumb is always do a bright color. The brighter color, put it on the area that you want to accentuate, because that is the area that, the, that people are gonna look at first. That is the area that draws the most attention. Wherever the bright color is, that's where they're looking, okay? So if you wanna accentuate your top, you have beautiful breasts, whatever have you, I would do that versus the bottom, same, same thing, same scenario. So the colors together are life. So ladies, if you haven't guessed already, chocolate is definitely one of my favorite colors. But I paired this chocolate asymmetrical top. It is kind of like a crop top. It stops right at your waist and it has a spaghetti strap sleeve on one side and long sleeve on the other. I got this from Zara. I paired it with a satin, like a pale yellow skirt I also got from Zara with a high slit in the front. Now this serves no purpose because it doesn't actually tighten at the waist. It's just for the look of it. So if you're just giving like the, the look effect of something and you want to do like a sporty chic because it has this tie, you could do this with some dad's handles, a t-shirt, like a cute little tee. I think that would be cute. But color blocking wise, I pair these two colors together. Now I would probably do a thigh high chocolate boot with this. Um, just to give it some edge and some flair. But I love this top. It does rise up a little bit, ladies, so that's not one of my favorite things about it. But I do love it, and I love this look. I think it's, it's very chic. It's very feminine, it's very flirty, it's soft. Um, the darker color on top doesn't overpower the lighter color on bottom. Um, and remember, whatever color that's lighter is gonna make you look the biggest. So if you don't wanna look bottom heavy and you are bottom heavy, I probably would flip the colors around. But I love the look of this. I love the color blocking of this. Again, the thigh high boots would have set this off. Maybe even a hat, but it is definitely giving. So up next, ladies, we have 
have this beautiful combination. I have a canary yellow blazer that I got from Zara about two years ago. Just a simple white tank top and an emerald green skirt that I recently purchased from Zara. This one should still be available because I just got it maybe about three weeks ago. I love the satin finish in this. It is so pretty. I love the flow of it. I love the fit of it. Um, so yeah, you can wear this to brunch with your girls. You can go, you can do a date with your hubby or your man. You know, you can do art gallery. I don't know, a show, fashion show, whatever the case may be. I feel like if you want to add color into your wardrobe and you need it for an event, this is definitely one of those ones. It's very polished and cute and chic and fun at the same time. You cannot go wrong. Very, very, very beautiful colors together. So ladies. I literally turned heads. Every woman in the restaurant was staring at me. I even had a couple of them follow me to the restroom to ask me where did I get my outfit. So they asked me, was this a dress? Was it a one piece? Um, did I purchase it together like as a unit? No, I paired this together on my own. This is a very old grass green see-through sheer top that I got from BCBG years ago. I'm talking years, maybe like five or six years ago. And then I got this lime green skirt from Free People. It's one of their basics, so they probably still have this in stock. Um, it has a slit. This skirt is actually worn backwards. So I'm supposed to have the slit in front, but I didn't like that. Um, so I let it just kind of stay in the back here, but it goes in the front. You can wear it how you want. Um, I paired this with some light, light sage green thigh high boots that had like the crinkle ankle part to it. So it was very pretty, very pretty. The whole look looked so nice. It flowed really well. It was copacetic. It was, it was on point. So I got a lot of compliments from this look, ladies. What do you think? I love this. Now again, you can pull the skirt around which is how it's supposed to be worn. And it's how I wore it when I wore the thigh high boots with it. So you can see the detailing in my boots. But if I were to pair this with some heels, some regular heels, you know, I would probably just put, like I just had it, pull this slit to the back here. But I love these colors together. It almost looks like a yellow, but it is a lime green and this is a grass green. So for my ladies who aren't a fan of skirts, uh, you don't like to show your legs like that, there is another option. So I have these lime green pants that I got from Hafana, Hafina? I, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. But anywho, um, they are so pretty. I actually had to get these tailored. I got these in an extra large and I had to get it tailored to my waist and also at the bottom because they were extremely long, but they are so pretty. Just with the grass green, like I said, these colors are a hit. They are a hit. They're gonna always give what they're supposed to give together. You can't go wrong and you can mix it up. You can do this color on the bottom and this color on top. But again, just remember when you do neon colors like that, um, that is the area that will be magnified. Okay, so that's the area that most people will look at and remember about your outfit. Last but not least, guys, of course, I had to end this video with my bright canary yellow dress that I got from Zara. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, Zara Hall Date Night Dress Edition, check that out. This dress is featured in that video, but I love it. It is a dress turn top. <laughs> it's a gauze dress. So it has this gauze material, the frayed hem detailing in the dress and then the cross back. And I paired it with some light blue rib pants that I got from Nasty Gal. Love this look together. This is very chic, very cute, very simple, not doing too much. The color on top is the brighter color. So remember I said, if you want to add color to your wardrobe, make sure you're not overdoing it. So you want to do a bright color, but you want a nice light tone color um, to mix with that. So my tone color, I chose to put on the bottom, which is the light blue and then the canary yellow on top. 
it is a whole look this color blocking look is it okay it is giving me vacation vibes it's giving me date vibes brother is with my man my girls whatever the case may be if i want to go to a show alone if i want to go eat alone whatever my preference is it's, it's giving it's giving all the vibes it's very clean very chic and it's one of my favorites enjoyed it if you stuck around this long and you're not subscribed girl what are you waiting on okay hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bells i try to upload at least once a week maybe twice uh once a week <laughs> i have a lot going on so it might be once every two weeks it just depends on my schedule but again thank you so much for subscribing if you're already subscribed thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe um, also follow my Instagram page, underscore Stephanie, underscore styles. I will be putting on there when I'm going to upload and some fashion content, just, you know, fashionista stuff. So if you like to, uh, if you're into that and you like to know, um, you know, what I'm doing in the world of fashion, honey, make sure you follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube. But again, thank you guys for watching. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.